Fall is one of the most colorful times of the year, or at least it should be. If you live in the Twin Cities metro, you might have noticed more shades of green this year. Our Barrett Leone explains what the holdup is. Fall colors are out there. So we didn't really get all the colors quite yet, hoping it's coming. But you might not find what you're looking for in the Twin Cities. Very green. That's why I'm kind of waiting for the colors. I don't know if it's coming or if it's just going to be green, but it's been a odd fall. Anna Wolf isn't alone in that wait. Right now, much of the metro is muted, with only 25 to 50 percent of its foliage in peak. Not so much, <laughs> because a lot of green, there's no like, any like rainbow at all. There's no like color. Compared to last year or even the year before, it's a stark difference. Now, depending on where you travel in the state of Minnesota, you're going to see a huge difference in fall colors. But here in the Twin Cities metro, you'll see a difference just a few feet apart. Take a look at this. These two leaves are from the same tree, but this one is starting to change a little faster. I personally haven't noticed it too much, I guess. It's still been a beautiful fall, but with our really hot October and stuff, it's still pretty green. Yeah. So what's the holdup? The Minnesota Department of Natural Resources tells us weather plays a critical role. Colors are best when we have a warm, moist summer, followed by sunny fall days. And severe drought dulls colors. Slight weather changes in September, jumping from being too wet, too dry, or too cold can cause trees to drop leaves before they change. I feel like I'm so used to the colors and not such a quick change from 80 degrees to now 50. <laughs> so. Making for a lacking landscape. I wish there was more color uh, and more leaves. In West St. Paul, Barrett Leone, WCCO News. We'll show you where and when to catch the best fall views at WCCO.com.